Welcome back. You know, Daybreak loves celebrating the people who make Buffalo and Western New York a better place to live, especially those who dedicate their lives to helping others, like volunteer firefighters. They train countless hours and often risk their lives to help their neighbors. Daybreak's Melissa Holmes introduces us to one fire chief in Alden who recently answered the call and saved a life in his own home, proving why he's one of the selfless among us. In service the community is everything. Stephen Krasik wanted to be a firefighter for as long as he could remember. And inspired by the heroic first responders on September 11th, the very next year when he turned 14 and was allowed to join the Mill Grove Volunteer Fire Department in Alden, he did. I've been regular fireman, lieutenant, captain, first assistant, second assistant. <laughs> I've done it all. <laughs> in the past 20 years, he spent thousands of hours in first aid and firefighting training at drills, community events, and responding to calls. And Steve was elected chief of Mill Grove this past January. A month later, his training went into action at home with his pregnant wife, Christine. It helps having a, an EMT in the house because I, I took my blood pressure and I said, this has got to be wrong. And Steve pulled out his cuff and, and did it manually. And he said, no, this is right. And you need to go to the hospital. Because of complications with preeclampsia, baby Oliver was delivered at just 25 weeks, one pound, seven ounces, 11 inches long. When you were, you're born that early, you're not breathing for yourself or nothing. So he went straight on the ventilator. He was intubated. I mean, they're essentially keeping him alive. He stayed at Oshai Children's Hospital for three and a half months before he was finally able to come home. He's been through a lot. And but at the end of June, they almost lost him had it not been for Chief Krasik, daddy, coming to the rescue. My in-laws came over and they were visiting with him while Steve and I went to go vote. And as we were leaving the polling place, they called and said, you know, he really doesn't look good. We came home and he was gone. Um, he had, he was blue, um, he was not breathing, and Steve immediately stepped in. Training got kicked in and I kind of let the dad go away and worked on him, worked on him, worked on him. And uh, my father went out and grabbed some oxygen. We got him on a really adult flow concentration of oxygen and uh, probably would save his life, to be honest with you. I would say probably in that situation for somebody who didn't have the equipment right then and there, he probably would have passed away. It's tremendous. Erie County Emergency Services Commissioner Dan Neverth Jr. says all volunteer firefighters train for long hours in order to save lives. But doing what Chief Krosick did that day with his own baby, well, that was heroic. When it's your own family member, it's a completely different dynamic. Your training kicks in, you go through it, but you are, uh, trust me, in a fog the entire time that you're doing it. So I've been on countless CPR calls. You know, we've won some, lost some. You know, unfortunately, you don't win them all, and, you know, that was the day we won. Luckily, down the road, we can tell my son that, uh, you know, he was a product of, of good training, and who knows, maybe that'll lead him into doing the same thing. For selflessly serving the community and his own family, Millgrove Chief Stephen Krosick is one of the selfless among us. Melissa Holmes, Channel 2 News.